A bomb threat at Park Rapids High School forced the school to go on lockdown temporarily this morning. Law enforcement responded to the scene around 8 a.m. after school officials received a voice message of a bomb threat for October 10th. Most students were still on buses at that time and were rerouted to Century School, which is about a block away. Staff members evacuated immediately and the district activated its automated alert system to notify parents of the lockdown. Officers did a security sweep of the entire school and did not find anything suspicious. Classes resumed after a two hour delay. The safety of our students and our staff always comes first. Um, as soon as we were able to secure the building and get law enforcement on site and evacuate, um, they were able to do their job. The, the disarray probably came more at Century as the buses were dropping them off over there and they tried to get them into the auditorium or gymnasium to, to get attendance taken and so forth. We're always trying to be prepared uh, for when situations do occur and we will come back, we'll debrief and we will look at what worked, what didn't work, how we're going to do it in the future. Two juveniles were arrested after Park Rapids police traced down the phone number used to make the threats. The juveniles admitted they made the call and that the threat was a hoax. Authorities say they will stay alert and keep doing what they can to keep the area safe. We take this very seriously. Um, we act as if it's a, a serious concern, in which we did. We do have school resource officers. I am one that goes into the schools. Um, we're going to continue to do what we do. Um, the personnel at the high school did a great job, and we were able to uh, come out with no injuries, and we were happy with the outcome with that. Authorities haven't released any information on the juveniles, but they have contacted their families. The Hubbard County Sheriff's Office, Minnesota State Patrol, and Paul Bunyan Task Force assisted on the scene. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.